In this tutorial, we will learn how to use Live Trace for your adornment projects. The first thing you need to do is place the scan of your drawing from the tracing paper into your uh, Adornments to Text Illustrator file. So to do that, you want to click File, Place, go to the desktop or your downloads folder wherever you saved that scan, choose that image, and place it. It should show up in Illustrator like this with the red X through it. Um, if you have an X through your picture, you want to make sure you embed that picture up here in your format bar by clicking the embed button and that glues it to your paper. Uh, the next thing you want to do is open your image trace window. So we're going to go to the window drop down menu and open image trace. This, <clears throat> excuse me, this window right here allows us to see multiple options that you can't see up here in our format bar with just the, the quick uh, method to doing live trace. So in the appear tab you can change the mode of your trace to either color, grayscale, black and white. We're going to keep it at black and white because that's what it uh, scanned as. We can change our preset default uh, from the list. So this is a sketched art drawing. So we can change that to sketched art. Uh, and notice it's changing as I'm changing these options because preview is checked off. Um, so I'm going to leave it at sketched art. You can also try and change it to other things like 16 colors. And then you'll see the progress happening. 16 colors you would use if it was like a full color image. Um, shades of gray, black and white logo, depending on how nice you want the lines to be. So I'm going to change it back to, oops, wrong one. I'm going to change it back to, oh, that actually works really well. I'll keep it on technical drawings. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So you can change the mode and the preset and that is what will take your drawing from a simple drawing to an actual traced image. If you see the appeared warning if you see the appeared warning window, uh, press OK. You, you probably won't. Uh, just in case you have a little warning window that pops up, just click OK. When the tracing is done, then you can press and hold the eye icon over here in your um, image trace pan. This allows you to click back and forth between your traced image and your original drawing by clicking and holding that eye icon just to compare between the two. Uh, this allows you to view that source image. Then the next step is to get rid of any extra white space that shows up from doing the live trace. So you want to click this little white triangle next to the advanced drop down menu. Um, and in that drop down window, you can choose the settings uh, you need and they will apply automatically to your image. So you can tweak your trace. I'm going to hide my text so you can see a little easier by changing paths, by changing the corners. You can also play with threshold if you need to. Um, knock up the noise a little bit. The really important one is right here where it says ignore white. By checking that off, any white space that was there is no longer there, okay? Uh, so now you, things are transparent. So you hit ignore white space. Uh, and then to, <clears throat> to convert your tracing object into a path, right now it's still a flat image, but to convert it into a path, uh, into a series of paths, you want to press the expand button up here in your format bar uh, on the image tracing toolbar. And what that does is it takes that flat image, now it, it takes it from a flat vector image into a vector image with lots of points. Uh, so you've converted that drawing into a series of paths. Now once you've done this, you're going to start to resize things and organize them around your text. Uh, and we will do that in our next tutorial.